Hello everyone, so the module called POS Spare Part Management will help you to sell spare parts from POS itself. It will have all the related fields like manufacturer, vehicles and other country related which is a part of spare part vehicle. So let's see how this will work. First, the module is installed. Let's go into point of sale. Over here in the point of sale configuration settings, there are fields which we need to enable. First, spare part selling so once you enable this it will it will allow you to sell the spare parts from pos spare part information it will give all the information in the spare part and it will show all the related information in the pos screen as well here the third field is search for all fields so if you enable all fields you just have to put the search bar in the position i have selected as category and if you want to just select as per some of the type which we have like fuel type vehicle type you can do that as well so as of now i am selecting all and keeping it in the category let's save this out so once you have saved this out let's go ahead into parts here into parts, we need to configure all these given fields. Let's do that one by one. So here vehicles is there. So vehicle will be done once all the other information is kept. So let's go ahead with manufacturing. So these are the manufacturing country I have created. You can simply click over new and create any of the country you want to. So as of now, let's keep this four and move ahead. And now we have two brands. I have created two brands, which is Tata and Honda. So this will be the brand of vehicle as now the model of vehicle is Jazz, Accord and so on. The other one is type of engine. So I have just kept only two fuel and electricity. Now next is type of fuel. So I have given electricity, petrol and diesel. In the variant I have given just variant one and two. You can give whatever the variants are you want to and uh, now the part manufacturer so here you just need to give the name of the person which is the manufacturer for the spare parts you have now let's move ahead so transmission types are two that are manual and automatic you can um, add as many as you want by just click clicking over new now let's go in part type so these are the part type i have added now let's go with the vehicle parts so here in the vehicle parts, I have given the all the vehicle parts I have. So here it is the rear view mirror. Let's just save this out. And I've given more like vehicle seat oil filter. So you can give whatever the vehicle parts you have it here. Now the year of vehicle. So I have given 2019, 20, 21, 22, and 23. You can give whatever the vehicles year you have. Once you have set all the configuration, let's move to vehicles and let's create a new one over here. So I will just create Tata Nexon and I will give the country so I will give it India and the vehicle brand is Tata vehicle variant is let's just give two over here the manufacturer is Daisy and it will be manual now vehicle mode is Nexon it's a mo model type of engine fuel and type of fuel is diesel so part type, let's say bolts is required and vehicle part which, which is needed is let's say seat and year of vehicle is let's say 2023 and saving this out. Now, once you have given all the information to this vehicle, let's create one or two spare parts. So as I have created this one, let's move ahead and create a new one like that is oil filter. So this is a spare part uh, and you need to enable this to create a spare parts. Once you have enabled that, you need to give all the related information over here. So let's just give those information as of now. So I will give all the information. So as I have given all the information, the vehicle part is I have given seat. So let's just take the product name as seat as seat or maybe front seat so let's just take front seat and save so once you have saved this out please check if this is available on pos or not so you need to enable this to avail it on the pos and you can also give the category so i will just save this out once you have given it it will be visible in the spare part itself so i have not given the price let's just give price as 500 and uh, saving this out now let's move ahead and go into shop so here in the shops 
let's open a session as as you can see i have given it uh, i have given the category in the category itself so these are the search bar you have from which you can simply search what are the models and everything here you have a button in which the vehicle is mentioned so you can click over vehicle and all the vehicle related information will be over here so now let's just go ahead with tata nexon and uh, here so here in the tata nexon we have not given any category to this one so in, let's just click over here and as you can see this is the one which we have configured for this tartan x and spare part so all the related information will be here now let's just uh, simply add countries i will add india so as soon as i filter it out it will give me the related information of that spare part so this is how you can simply add with whatever the filters you want to add and it will give all the filter because i have selected all over there can simply add and make the payment and this will allow you to sell the spare part as well by selecting the vehicle as well as you can filter it out with the name fuel or anything so let's just close this as of now and let's go into back end here in the orders you will see the created order of that particular one as you can see front seat and all the information over here now let's just check with the other detail like let's just cross this out and i will go ahead with fuel type and save now let's go again in the front end and check so in the front end as you can see this is giving me only fuel so i will just add diesel so as soon as i add diesel it will give me that let me add uh, petrol so as of now we don't have anything on the petrol so that's why it is not showing anything so this is how you can simply add according to you what are the filters you want to add and what are the spare parts you want to add in those vehicles so this is how you can simply sell those spare parts from the front end of pos as well as well as you have the uh, filters and the search bar also available for you to filter it out so if you have any query please add down your query in comment section below also do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you